what's good y'all it's your boy ross back at it again with another video so there's been some rumors going around on twitter instagram that apparently the rock reportedly has no movie or tv commitments for the first quarter of 2023 man and that's right around the time of wrestlemania wrestlemania 39 we're gonna read this article on wrestle zone uh and we're gonna check this out and see what's going on what's the up and up and i'm gonna get my thoughts and opinions on if the rock is available how they could possibly book a a match for roman versus uh the rock at wrestlemania next year let's get into it all right is the rock making his way back to the wwe next year to headline wrestlemania 39 in hollywood it seems as if his schedule is all clear for that to happen According to Brian Alvarez of the Wrestling Observer, The Rock does not currently have any movie or TV filming commitments from January through March of 2023, Alvarez says. He's going to do zero movie commitments for the first quarter of 2023, which would allow him to do WrestleMania without having to worry about movie commitments and also have the time to help launch the first season of the XFL. So actually the timing for doing a WrestleMania match would be excellent this year um, because he has two different projects which will require him to take time off from movies. As mentioned above, The Rock is heavily involved in the relaunch of the XFL, which will be taking place roughly the same time as WWE WrestleMania uh, season. A perfect receipt for him to take some time away from acting to return to the WWE. The Rock has expressed his expressed a desire to come back to the WWE for numerous years now, but his filming schedule makes it impossible to do. The belief has been that The Rock wants to compete against Roman Reigns at the Showcase of the Immortals and Dave Meltzer reported a few months ago that this match has already been uh, preliminarily penciled in as the main event of the show. Would you like to see the match take place? And if so, do you think the title should be involved? And that's a good question that I want to ask you guys. Um, well, I first want to answer it myself. Dude... Do I want to see this match? Of course. I, I think a lot of us want to see this match. This is the quintessential WrestleMania main event. The Rock versus Roman Reigns. They have been teasing it. Roman Reigns has been taking jabs and shots at The Rock. He has been hitting The Rock bottom on different opponents. And The Rock has a show called The Young Rock or something like that where there's a scene, and you guys have sent it to me on Instagram and Twitter, there's a little scene where they have a little Roman Reigns on the rock shoulder, and he's saying, acknowledge me, and, you know, let's fight. And then the rock says, no, that's a match we have at WrestleMania. We say that for WrestleMania. I'm telling you this now. They don't put that in the show for no reason. You know, maybe to, you know, give a wink to the fans, but they there's a, they put that in the show for a reason. And I think the story writes itself. Now, does the title need to be involved for this? I don't think so. I think this match is bigger than the title. You remember when John Cena and The Rock had their first go around? That match was bigger than the WWE Championship title. It was. And in this situation, it's going to be bigger than the Universal and the WWE Championship because of how important it is. It's a first time ever, and it just makes sense. Roman has been saying for the past two years, he is the top of the food chain. He is the tribal chief. He, he's the head of the table, and he pretty much lets people know, like, The Rock was cool, but I'm that guy now. I'm over the rock when it comes to this wrestling stuff. And I like that. I like because they can introduce some real potentially maybe family drama. It gives that sense of realism. And I think you don't need the titles for that match to work because the titles are, will be an afterthought. It's really who's truly the head of the table. And I think you do this at a time period where Roman loses the titles the usos lose the title and at 
you can have Roman go in this mega rogue state where he's not the same without the championships. He's like very disrespectful, even more disrespectful than he already is sometimes to the Usos, but he's very disrespectful to the family. He's very disrespectful to the people that care and love him. And it's only then that's when The Rock steps in and be like, yo, you've gotten beside yourself. What the hell is wrong with you? You're disrespecting your family that's had your back. I get it. You don't have the titles no more, but you don't have to go after them. And then he goes after The Rock. And I think that's how you set it up. Because having the titles there is just going to be an afterthought. You know, and I, I think booking wise, you want to really see Roman at this emotional state where he's not the same guy no more without the championships. He's more violent. He's more disrespectful. He's more rude. He doesn't give a damn. All he cares about is getting the championships and people are acknowledging him and the rock comes back. Or you can have a situation where maybe the rock cost him the titles at some point this year. It's there's a few ways you can book this, but me personally, I'm all for it just being who's the best out of the family, who's truly the best. And it makes sense. It's in Hollywood. There's no better chance to have this match than in Hollywood. If it doesn't happen next year, it's probably not going to happen. The next year would be the, the, the most optimum time for him to have that match with Roman. And I don't think they can even drag out Roman being a champion all the way to next year. Because they don't even have enough opponent, opponents for Roman to really be facing. And Roman's not uh, supposed to be even on television that much during the summer like that. So I think he needs to drop the belts definitely sometime during the summer. Maybe in the fall if the latest. And then go into the Royal Rumble. Maybe he enters in the Royal Rumble to have a title opportunity again or whatnot. And maybe the rock cost him then. Like there's many ways they can set this up and just this will be the main event. Whether the titles are on the line or not, this will be the main event. This will be the match everyone will be talking about. And I think honestly, in this situation, I would have the rock lose. The rock doesn't need this win. The rock has done it all. He's done it all in wrestling. He does not need this win. And I would have the rock lose to definitively put over Roman Reigns as the guy, as the guy that is truly the head of the table. Put him over, and that could be The Rock's last match. Because once again, The Rock does not need this win. Roman needs this win more than The Rock does, and that could be The Rock's last match. I don't think he really needs to face anybody else in WWE. This is the most important match he would probably have as his last match and I think he would probably want it to be his last match and I'm looking forward to it if they can pull this off I know the storyline is going to be great I know the, the the promos back and forth is going to be in, uh, enjoyable and of course WWE they're going to kill this promo package this is a promo package that we will remember for a very long time WWE kills it when it comes to their promo packages so that's just my thoughts and opinions on it doesn't need the title and hopefully it does happen at next year's wrestlemania and i would have roman reigns win it i would have him win it and it could be the rock's last match and i think it would it'll be cool i think it would be very enjoyable but comment down below let me know do you guys think the title should be on the line? Do you also think that Roman should either beat The Rock here or lose to The Rock? Let me know how you guys would book it and what would be y'all fantasy booking scenario, man. But I appreciate all love and support. Road to 90K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.